Hey folks, Twisha Christian here. I want to discuss Zion Oil and Gas. We have some good news uh, coming from the SEC report, the insider transactions, and I'm going to go over those. And I'm going to tell you what my thoughts and my opinions are. And so, but before I get started, I have to tell you guys, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Everything that I tell you is my opinion and that any investment that you make, you only invest what you can afford to lose. Okay, folks, so really quick here. Uh, the stock closed out around 42 cents. And in the last video, I shared some different things. And I also shared uh, some of the pitfalls that could happen too as well. But one of the things I did tell you guys was also too to look out for the insider transactions. So currently right now, it is June the 3rd. And they are supposed to be completed drilling by June the 6th. That is their five-month goal now I'm not saying they're going to be done on the fifth they could be done on the fourth they could be done on the seventh but I'm not really the only thing that I might expect to hear about the drilling itself and nothing about oil is that the drilling has com been completed so I do I would expect that to come this week unless they are going to make an announcement that the drilling is completed and they have oil and this is the grade unless they're combining all of the announcements together I don't know. After the drilling is completed, it usually takes about, uh, they have to do a survey and they have to come out with their official numbers if the well is viable. All right. And this folks, and I'm going to tell you, share, share some things later, but remember we have to stay rooted and grounded because this stock is probably going to go up uh, during this week of uh, Monday of June the 7th, right? That stock is probably going to start to go up in anticipation of some type of announcement right so even if the stock hits five dollars for the high at you know say at noon it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stay there right there's going to be a lot of swing traders coming in there's going to be a lot of people uh, selling uh, on the high and buying on the low during this whole entire process folks I shared that this is only one well and there are people that think the stock could go up to five dollars ten dollars fifty dollars it's very possible that could happen, but folks, it's not going to stay up there because this is the reason why, because this is only one well, and they can only pump so much uh, per day with one well. And I also shared with you how much it cost to drill a well per month, which is $2.5 million a month. And when they're not drilling, it costs Zion Oil $600,000 a month. And where do they get their money from? They get it from... Uh, their stocks from selling off stocks or and all the other things they do within the stock market to raise capital right so they're they are going to have to do that because they don't have any revenue so you guys need to stay rooted and grounded because Zion oil is really in its infancy stages so once they have told you that this well is viable everything else about the numbers should come along with that or sometime or a little bit of time after that, we talked about the 3D. The we talked about the 3D survey, and, and they will be able to estimate well how many barrels of oil is actually in this reserve. But they are going to have to, folks, start drilling more wells. One well is not going to be enough. And if it took five months to drill that well. Uh, imagine that if they have to dr start drilling two or three and they can only drill right now they have one drill so they can only drill one well at a time so looking at this looking at the calendar I do expect uh, the stock price to gradually rise up now uh, if, if we don't hear anything next week then I'm not gonna expect any type of announcement until the end of June you know up until the end of June if we don't hear anything by then I have no idea but we will find out in the next updates from Zion oil and we'll get a better picture uh, if they just decide just to let us know that the drilling is completed I can assure you the stock will probably rise with that okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the SEC insider transactions right this is on Zion oil and gas the Edgar company search results from May the 28th through June the 2nd I told you guys in the last video because I think I made that video on the 24th or something or the 25th told you to look out for these and they did happen 
So looking at some of these, and these are all positive. We have some insider buying, and you can go on their website. You can compare the names to what is here on the SEC, but it also tells you who they are and what they do. So you have here Avery William, president and general counsel. Looks like he purchased 200,000 uh, stocks here. We have Lee Russell, another 200,000 stocks. Robert Dunn, the CEO, another 200,000 stocks. And th these are all prices, it looks like, at 59 cents. So they're already in the hole. These guys are already in the hole in their own investment in their company. Kent Siegel, a director, 200000 Then we have John Brown, right, who's the executive chairman and founder of Zine Oil. And he purchased 200,000 stocks. Then we have another director here, Gene, who purchased 200,000 shares. Van Braun Martin, the Secretary of Treasury, 200,000 shares at 59 cents. Michael Croswell, the CFO, purchased 200,000 shares at 59 cents. So you can see here that uh, the insiders at Zion Oil & Gas have been buying. That is a good sign. So, of course, they are going to know things that we do not know. For all we know, on the 28th, they hit oil, and they're going through the testing phases right now. So this is the very beginning. So I, I don't know what's going to happen on Monday or Tuesday or the rest of the week. We actually might see some buying, some frantic buying before an announcement. right? Or, you know, on the flip side, folks, uh, when it comes down to the announcement of the oil itself, whether if the well is viable, whether the grade is good and all that, if it's negative, you might see some transactions here that show some selling off or you might see some mass selling off on the charts you know when this announcement is expected so those are just things to look out for but so far right now this is positive news because I think that I think that they would not invest at this time right now if they did not think that they could move Zion oil forward but all that remains to be seen because this is all speculation based off of insider buying knowing that the completion of the drilling is almost completed and so we should get some news now folks this is the thing whatever the high that it goes to it's not going to stay up there and for those of you who have an average of 75 cents a dollar a dollar fifty folks even if you see it go past that this because Zion oil is in the OTC markets right it's much more volatile than on NASDAQ that is a major difference. And so not as many people are involved in Zion Oil uh, because it is not on NASDAQ. You have to, you know, you have to have a, a, a special kind of brokerage account in order for you to even purchase the stock. Uh, and that's one of the things. This with this insider buying, this is a good thing. So, you know, make sure you share this video because that's how people are going to know, hey, what's going on with Zion Oil, right? They're on the verge of completing this drilling and we're on the verge of an actual announcement so you got to let people know uh, what's going on with the stock so we're going to keep a close eye on it from here on out and i will try my hardest to make as many update videos as possible for the stock but you guys also have to do your own research and and looking at the if, if you're not if you are not looking at the sec on any of your stocks at all whatsoever then most definitely you need to start looking because this is a determination. What if I had came and told you that everybody was selling their stocks, right? That would be a bad sign. So those are the things that you have to look for in any stock. So yes, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'd, where do I expect the price to be at in the future? Uh, I, I think the 50 and the $100 you know, per stock, I think that's going to come down later on when Zion Oil is actually pumping more oil and they have more wells because it's going to cost a lot of money to uh, continue operations going until they start making a profit. Folks, they're going to have to drill another well, right? That's going to cost uh, 2.5 million times five, right? So that's, that's around 13, 14, 14 million dollars. 
uh, that they're going to have to spend in order to start drilling another well. And that's going to be driving the price down because if the price jumps up to five bucks, I'm pretty sure a lot of I'm pretty sure Zino is going to consider selling off some stocks to raise funds. I don't want to tell you guys the stock is going to go to five dollars or ten dollars or twenty or fifty because those are all things I've heard in the past. And I think right now we have to stay uh, rooted and grounded that this is a very long term investment. And I've shared that with you guys. This is this company is in the baby stages. So there's going to be an opportunity to make money. Whatever I profit from this, I can put it right back into Zion Oil with a lot more stocks. And that's what you guys need to understand. And that way, the more stocks that people own, it's the people that control the price and you guys have been not have been trading it and making a profit and then reinvesting and that way it's the people that control the pricing so even if they have an announcement of oil I don't I honestly just to be honest with you guys the only way that this stock is going to skyrocket unless we get some type of estimated amount of barrels of oil in the reserve that is the only way that I can see this even if the stock even if they had the largest oil reserve in the world and the stock shot up to fifty dollars right it's not going to stay at fifty dollars there's still a whole lot more that has to be done with this company with more drilling and more wells so uh, tomorrow is Friday I don't know what to expect especially after uh, I put out this video because you know people are going to see, hey, look, these these people on the inside are buying, so we might actually start to see the stock uh, go up uh, starting next week. And folks, because I have shared with you and I have done videos where I'm showing you guys how the hedge funds have been involved in Zion Oil and they are shorting uh, Zion. They have been shorting Zion Oil for years and making millions of dollars off of Zion oil uh, for the last what two to three years three years now and manip using manipulated news to get people to invest only to be shorting it at the same time so you guys gonna watch out for that so okay so looking at the short interest from Zion oil and gas this is from the Fintel it looks like there's 200,000 short shares still available short borrow fee rate 16.993% short volume ratio 14% so looking at that right now that is pretty good because you don't want the shorts in there now if you, if you start if you start to see the shorts pile up this starts going up to 20% then 30% then 40% then 50% and maybe they uh, as we get closer to some type of announcement and maybe you see that along with maybe insiders selling off uh, that could be a very good indication that there's negative news coming. Now, these guys right here, there are the, the people that are currently shorting Zion Oil. Uh, if they are shorting Zion Oil, of course, they could be in danger of having to, you know, pay out money. But this is the thing with Zion Oil in the OTC markets. And they could double down and they could triple down because even if the stock goes up for, you know, in a day, I mean, of course, you know, it has to close out. So even if the stock goes up to 20 bucks or 10 bucks or five bucks, right, and it goes back down over the next couple of days, you know, and the shorts double down, they're going to make a ton of money. And what I've shared, you know, if, if most of us have most of the shares to where they don't they don't have these short shares to borrow and the interest rate is really high. And that's the point that we're where we have to get to folks. So that's why I say like. If you just invested today and you bought, you know, say a thousand dollars worth of Zion oil and it goes up to five bucks and then uh, you put in your stop losses at 450 or 475 and that sucker comes back crashing down and it just might bleed for a whole week all the way back down to 40 cents. Right. When you can turn around and make a profit, but also reinvest and buy more shares than what you had. Right. And if everybody was doing that, because guess what? The hedge funds are doing that. They're actually making money off the short positions, making money off short positions off of you 
buying on the highs and then selling when people are panicking. That's how they make their money. So um, they've been making millions off of Zionel, except for you, unless you're one of those who have been who have been swing trading it and gaining and gaining more stocks. I did have somebody share with me that they did start off with like 10,000 shares or something like that, and they ended up and, and reached their goal of over 100,000 shares just from swing trading it. Right, so he could have just sat on his 10,000 shares and didn't do anything with it and just wait for some big boom. No, he took action and he took initiative and he, sw he sw swing traded the stock and got to a point to where he owned, you know, 10 times more than what he had. So anyways, folks, uh, j these are just all things to look out for. I'm really excited. Uh, everything all remains to be seen. Uh, so tomorrow at the opening bell, we could see the stock either go down or we could start to see it go up. And especially starting on Monday, I would suspect that this stock, in anticipation that the drilling is completed, uh, I do expect the stock to go up. And then even go up more than announcement is expected. So we're going to be looking for the signs and the signals from here on out for the good and for the bad. Um, and right now we're at a point where if you, if you are trying to invest in Zion Oil for the first time, well, first of all, you're going to have to use a brokerage like Schwab or TD Ameritrade. Schwab, on most OTC stocks, they do not charge a fee as opposed to TD Ameritrade. But it takes at least five days for your funds to clear. So even if you upload 500, 500 bucks today to to your Schwab account, you're not going to be you're not going to be able to use it until next Friday. So that's about how long it takes for those funds to clear for OTC purchases. So just be aware of that if this is your first time. And if you are wanting to buy more and you're trying to upload money, you, you guys aren't going to be able to use that money uh, to purchase uh, any more stocks until that money is cleared. So anyways, folks, I'm excited. We'll just see what happens next week. And we'll be looking out for the signs, the signs and the signals for, uh, for the good and for the bad. All right, folks. So thank you for listening. God bless. And with that being said, Twitch the Christian out.